What is up everybody? It's Jed Johnson from DieselCrew.com with another episode of Cooking with Napalm. Going to be out of town for a couple days so I'm packing up some meals, cooking ahead on some chicken. Just got it today, chopped up the onions. I'm going to be ready to go in just a little bit. But what I thought I'd do while I did that was answer a few of your questions and most of these have come to me right here on the YouTube channel. So here we go. Hey Jed, about two months ago I was doing pinch grips with cinder blocks. And although not overly difficult, I did do a tremendous amount of volume. But for like six weeks after that, my hands would cramp just holding my iPod. The cramping has finally subsided, but it has made me wary of doing grip strength exercises altogether. Do you have any insight to what may have caused this and if it is safe to continue with grip training with such malignant hand cramps resulting from it? I hope to hear from you. I think you nailed the cause right off the bat, man. You started doing it and you just did way too much. You have to remember the hands or the muscles in your hands are very, very small. What this means is they can recover very quickly but the volume you, that you do, you really have to watch it. You can't do too much because it can take a while for too much volume to, to heal. What happens when you do too much volume is the muscles get tight and then you get limited range of motion. Remember, a lot of the muscles that are going through your hand are also going through your forearm and that means they're passing through the wrist. So now you're getting limitations in your range of motion at your wrist. Since you were doing pinching, you were probably doing a lot of work. Obviously, you were doing a lot of work for the thumb muscles. These muscles can get very, very sore, more so in my experience than the finger muscles. I actually, I cannot remember a time in the last 10 years where I've gotten sore muscles in my fingers from, from grip training. I've felt it in the forearm. But, uh, but not in the fingers or even in the palms. I'll feel it in the pinky pad. I'll feel it in the thumb pad. These are more muscular areas than the fingers. And it seems that these areas will respond with more pain when you do too much volume. So for anyone that's beginning grip training, you really want to make sure that you start out low and work your way up. It's extremely important. Don't go overboard at first. Your hands generally don't start to hurt while you're doing it. It's when you're done. Just like any kind of manual labor job, your hands probably won't hurt too bad while you're working. It's afterwards that you feel pain. And then, once that pain is set in, it's hard to get rid of. All right. So moderation is very important. And I hope you get back to back to pain-free pain training. All right, Jed, do you feel like the globe grips put, ex put extra pressure at the wrists or the opposite? Uh, with globe grips, no. I feel no stress at all on my wrists. In fact, the reason I use globe grips is because it helps my wrists feel better. Uh, I use globe grips almost entirely with barbell curls. Ridiculous bicep strength. Thanks, brother. What is your opinion, what in your opinion is the number one test for grip strength? Um, the number one test is probably some form of thick bar. For some reason I feel like I answered that question already, but I think, I, right now I'm thinking that probably the best test of grip strength is thick bar, something where you just have maybe half an inch to an inch space between your fingers, test your grip strength that way. I think that's the best way to test it. And here's one that I'm pretty sure I haven't answered yet. I read in Louis Simmons' book where they use this device at Westside Barbell. It's a Titan Telegraph key and you can click on the link here and, and it'll take you over to the video. You'll see exactly what the Titan's Telegraph key looks like. Jed, do you think this is an overall good tool to put in the toolbox for grip strength? It looks like an awesome thumb screamer. The Titan's Telegraph key is good. Don't get me wrong. Any kind of lever, lever type of, of training you can do, like a Titan's Telegraph key, is good. However, I do think it's actually better if you're going to 
if you want to increase your grip strength, your actual holding power, something that, you know, the type of grip that you can use in sports, you know, holding onto a football so you don't get a fumble or making better tackles, you know, grip strength in general for any combat sport. I think it's a much better idea to do things like block weights and uh, thick bar stuff uh, to strengthen your thumb. I really just think it's, it's better. The reason I say that is because the Titan's Telegraph Key is a dynamic exercise for the most part and there's just not a lot of things where you need dynamic thumb strength um, in sports, in grip, etc. Um, what you can do is you can use the Titan's Telegraph Key in an isometric fashion. You can use it in, uh, across certain points and just hold it there. But honestly, I would just use a variety of block weights, a variety of thick bars, fat grips, you know, thick uh, vertical bars, things like that, and I think they would work out better. So it's a quality piece of equipment. I just don't see it having a, a good carryover to a lot of other things besides building the thumb up. Like we talked about earlier, when you use these muscles a lot, you can get them to grow, and that's actually a good way to improve your, your gripper training. It's good to have a nice big thumb pad, but uh, man, I just don't, honestly, my honest opinion is I just don't think it's a good idea to grab one unless you're looking to build your thumb strength up. There's other things that you can do that are better for sports and for grip in, in, that, in that case. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Make sure to subscribe. The button's right here on the page. Make sure to get it. You'll get all my other videos, and I wish you the absolute best in your training. Now back to cooking.